Hi, this is Anne with an anagram on the before you code slide and work of this week, um, week three, INET 1580 um, assignment. So um, this actually will go much faster in practice when you do it than when I walk through it in some detail. But there's some jargon here. There are some things that Replit does automatically that um, confuse the case a bit. And there's one of those famous hidden screenshot, hidden um, menu options that's like simple to find when you know it's there and impossible to guess. So um, just want to not leave you out there without a clue. Uh, and I hope that this is useful. We're going to go through these four steps where we um, fork last week's uh, park project, create a new copy of it. Then we have to rename it. Um, and make sure we don't fork it another time because we don't want two copies. We only want one copy. Um, I'll talk you through deleting screenshots, although the replit I have doesn't have those in it. And then just a little bit about creating a folder and uploading a screenshot to it. So uh, those are the instructions. Here is the, um, here's a version of a REPL that's much like last week's assignment. I don't think it's probably identical. Um, this is some code that my cat borrowed from a student um, and then modified, but it should be pretty close and certainly for what we want to do. Um, the first step here is fork, okay, your REPL to make a new copy and then make sure that the name looks like this. And, um, and let's just do that. I hit the, I have to go to the, because this is my cat's REPL and I'm working in it, okay? Um, it's not a, a public REPL that you're, you're copying from me, the instructor. Then I hit the edit icon up here and there's a fork button. And what I do here is, and note that this, note this hour number here. If I hit fork, okay, the, the whole environment blinks and how long that blink and refresh takes really depends on your internet connection and maybe whether Replit is having a good day or a bad day. So that blink, um, don't try to do anything more until it's over. And then what you'll notice is that the 11 got changed to a 12. And the reason that happened is because um, Replit has some logic in its file names that if you have a, if I just had a, a Replit that was called Bryce, what would happen is um, Replit would add a dash and a one. Uh, because my naming convention for your Replits happens to end in a dash and a number, what Replit's going to do when you fork is simply add one to the number that's on the end there. But this isn't the name we want to have. What we want to have is we want to add the word enhanced, okay, snake case, camel case, and we want to change it to the time we're doing this work. So we come over here and um, we capitalize the second word. That's camel case. Okay. It's still 2020, January. It's the 26th today. And it's, oh, about 1300. Okay. Approximate time is fine. And um, now it becomes your week three park page. Now, the temptation here is to hit the fork button again because it kind of looks like a save button and there is no save button here. Um, so this is the magic of, a, of a actually, um, you know, internet pop-ups is that there's no save here and when I just click off it, okay, once again, my environment blinks, which tells me that Replit is saving my new code. And, um, and I now have the name I want okay, and the description I want, okay, and I'm ready to actually start work on the rest of this project. So um, I'm supposed to delete any screenshots from last week's work, and um, Winston's project didn't have its screenshots yet. Just a quick reminder that if you want to delete files, then it's that option is under this little three dots by the file name and I could delete that. I don't want to delete that because that's actually being used in my page. That's this picture right here. Okay. Um, and next I want to create a folder and um, 
name it W3 school. So let me just do that. That's pretty straightforward. Again, you, you either have to know this is the add folder thing or you have to hover over it long enough to get the add folder label up. But you'll learn these things and it'll become natural pretty quickly. So I'm gonna add a folder. I'm gonna call it W3 schools. And there is a, um, I think it's task one. Uh, anyway, one of the tasks in this, in this week, you have to upload, um, a screenshot or more up to W3Schools folder. Now, if drag and drop is working for you in your browser environment, you can simply go to um, whatever your file explorer is and drag straight onto W3Schools, and that file will appear under this folder name, which shows you that it's in that folder. Um, if that's not working for you, or if when you, or if you like to use this option, okay, to upload a file where I click on these three dots, I get this drop down menu and I click upload file. Um, let's pick a picture that seems harmless. Um, hang on a sec. If I click here, I've got a bear. Okay. And um, so that's not a screenshot, but it's an image and I'm going to upload it. So I click open. And you'll note that when I use this menu option, this bear um, image does not end up in this folder. So if you do it that way, or if you drag and drop and you don't hit the W3 schools, schools folder, simply take your bear and drag it into that folder. And you see it's indented underneath and the little teddy bear shows up in the right place. So um, it's really helpful to me when I um, grade, if your files are all in exactly where I asked you to do. And I will, um, I will dock points for that because you really do wanna make my life easier when I grade. Um, and I will try to make your life easier when you code. So that gets us through these four steps and I hope that helps.